Earlier today in the House, I introduced Bill 15, the Real Estate Amendment Act of 2019. If passed, this legislation will enable our government to bring an end to the dysfunctional governance by the Real Estate Council of Alberta. I am pleased to take this opportunity to provide more information about the background of this legislation and the proposed amendments. As the regulator for the real estate industry, the Real Estate Council of Alberta's mandate is to protect consumers, to promote integrity of the industry by establishing and enforcing professional standards for real estate agents and brokers, uh, mortgage brokers, real estate appraisers, and property managers. And it is to provide services such as education that enhance and improve the industry. Quite simply, the Real Estate Council of Alberta has not been fulfilling its mandate. Instead of focusing on the issues facing the real estate industry, instead of focusing on ensuring that they have proper risk management in place, and instead of filling roles on its standing committees and requiring those committees to meet, they have been focused on their own internal relationship differences and on trivial matters such as establishing new advertising guidelines that would have cost between $35 million and $50 million to implement. This is unacceptable. Over the past couple of years, my department has heard an increasing number of concerns from industry and from consumers about the Real Estate Council's conduct and their performance. Some of the issues raised by industry members included internal conflicts within the Governing Council as well as between Council and Administration, worsening of key working relationships between the Council, the Council's administration and stakeholders, and growing distrust between the Council and the industry. Given these concerns, my department initiated an independent review of the Council's governance pursuant to Section 76 of the Real Estate Act. This review was conducted by KPMG and was started earlier this year. In June, I received the governance review from KPMG and it confirmed the serious concerns with Council governance and it also identified significant issues with the current Council.